We hear all the time about how AI is going to change the world, right? But what does that actually look like in a real day-to-day -day job? Well, today, we're going to pull back the curtain and see how the people who are building these AI tools at Google are using them to get their own work done faster and, frankly, smarter. And look, it's a totally fair question. Seems like every year there's some new app or some new methodology that promises to completely revolutionize how we work. And the hype around AI right now is, well, it's off the charts. So it's pretty easy to be a little skeptical and wonder if this is all just noise. But instead of getting bogged down in all those futuristic promises, this explainer is all about practical reality. We're going to dig into the simple, repeatable habits and prompts that Googlers are actually weaving into their workflows right now. Think of it as a playbook of real-world applications with zero fluff. All right, so let's start with a challenge that is absolutely universal, creativity. It doesn't matter if you're a writer, a marketer, or a project manager, we've all had that moment of just staring at a blank document, completely stuck on where to even begin. This is exactly where AI is becoming such a powerful creative partner. And let me be clear, it's not to do the work for you, it's meant to act as a launch pad, you know, to get those first few ideas down so you have something to react to, something to build on, something to refine. So, how are they doing it? Well, it pretty much boils down to a few core habits. They're using it as a brainstorming partner to just generate raw ideas, and then as a drafter to get a rough first version onto the page. From there, it's all about refinement, asking it to tweak the tone or to act as a fresh pair of eyes to see where your writing might be weak. Okay, now here is a really clever technique they use. Instead of just asking for ideas, they're telling the AI to adopt different personas. This one simple trick forces it to go way beyond generic suggestions and give you a much richer, more diverse set of places to start. And here is a perfect example of that. See, the prompt isn't just give me coffee taglines. It creates these specific creative boxes by asking for the perspectives of a tired parent and a busy student. A tired parent might get taglines all about survival and pure energy, right? While a student gets ideas focused on affordability and those late night study sessions. This simple framing just generates so much more creative and targeted stuff. So building on that idea of getting better outputs, let's jump into our second area, communication. Because let's be honest, we are all swimming in an absolute sea of documents and emails, and AI is proving to be an incredible tool for taming that information overload. We've all been there, right? You get invited to a meeting with only 15 minutes notice, and of course, there are three long documents attached as required pre-reading. It feels impossible to get up to speed in time. Or is it? This workflow is an absolute game changer for meeting prep. Instead of that frantic speed reading, you just feed the documents to an AI and ask for the essentials. Start with a high-level summary, but then, and this is the key part, ask it to generate some critical questions based on the content. Just like that, you can walk into that meeting prepared and ready to go in just a few minutes. Beyond just summarizing, AI can also be your own personal editor. Before you hit send on that really important email or that big report, you can get instant feedback. It's kind of like having a colleague on call 24-7 to just give your writing a quick once-over. The real power here is in the specificity of the prompt. You're not just saying, make this better. No, you're asking for two really concrete things. Improve the clarity and strengthen the call to action. That kind of targeted feedback is what leads to really precise, effective improvements in your writing. Okay, now for our third section, analysis. This is where AI is starting to dramatically speed up technical tasks, and not just for engineers, but really for anyone who has to work with code or data. I mean, the difference between the traditional workflow and the new AI-assisted one is just, it's night and day. When it comes to debugging code, what used to be hours of reading line by line and searching forums now becomes just pasting the code and asking the AI for an explanation. The same thing is happening with data. Instead of writing these crazy complex formulas, you can now just describe the insight you're looking for in plain English. And the applications here just keep growing. Googlers are using AI as a personal tutor to learn new programming languages, as a troubleshooter for those cryptic error messages, and as a huge time saver for writing all that boilerplate code. It's really becoming a fundamental tool for learning and for problem solving. So we've seen how AI can help out with creativity, with communication, and with analysis. But the big question that's left is, how do you actually make this a part of your daily routine? This isn't about completely overhauling the way you work overnight. The real secret is to just start small. Find those little moments and those repetitive tasks where AI can give you just a little bit of leverage. Don't try to boil the ocean. Just focus on saving five minutes here and 10 minutes there. I promise those small wins add up fast.
So here's a super simple plan to get you started. First, pick one small, annoying task that you have to do every single week. Maybe it's writing a meeting summary or drafting a social media post. Next, just ask an AI to help with one tiny piece of it. If it works, save that prompt. Doom, you now have a reusable tool in your toolkit. And that is exactly how a real habit gets built. So I'll leave you with this question to think about. Look at your to-do list for tomorrow. Is there a report to summarize, an email you need to draft, or some problem you need to solve? What is the one prompt you could write, the one question you could ask an AI, that might just free up an hour of your time? The answer is probably a lot simpler than you think.